Good morning, educators. And by educators, I mean anyone that spends time around children. I wanted to do my first video today because I have some ideas for you, some teacher secrets that includes an errand you might need to run today. So, um, this is something that a lot of teachers do, but parents, grandparents, educators, um, anywhere can try it. So, what you need to do is you need to go out today and buy your 50% off Easter eggs. Um, <clears throat> I know for a fact that Walgreens has them ready to go. Today's the day after Easter. Um, just buy these cheap plastic Easter eggs. And there's several different games you can do with them. The first one is to match uppercase and lowercase letters. Now, some of the eggs you'll buy are hinged, but as you probably already know, they're really easy to break. So, you just match them up, and you can you don't have to match the colors. Um, you can use a different color if you want to make it a little more challenging, or not. And as your children are working on this, they're working on their fine motor skills. Um, they're working on capital and lowercase letters and matching them up. If you like, you can use something like this to help them um, as a reference. If they need that, then you can do that or you can write it down on paper or maybe you have an ABC book and they can practice referencing a book for information. So, capital and lowercase letters. Another thing you can do is Word families. Let me make it not so upside down. Word family. So this is the and family. And you can pop the other side on. This this should already be together when you give it to the child. But they can read proper nouns. Like Dan. And they just twist it. Can. Jan. Fan. And so on. You can have them just play with it like this. You can have them write the words that they make onto paper. Or they may just be playing with it and, and that's fine too. This, this is another way that teachers, including myself, individualize instruction. So this, can, this, this as well as all the things I'm going to show you, um, there's different levels of learning and you give your child or your children each what they need. Um, not too above and not too below what they need. Okay, math. You can put a number on each side and then inside is the total if you're adding. I happen to have M&Ms handy this morning from my daughter's Easter basket, but it doesn't have to be candy. Um, a lot of teachers use beans. Um, if it's snack time, put something healthy in there. Maybe raisins or, you know, anything that fits. Kids love pennies. They love to play with pennies. Um, one, one idea I wanted to make sure and tell you, um, make sure you decide which, which end of the egg you want to put the plus sign on because um, you don't want them to match up some. Um, and make it say like four plus plus two. So decide where you want your plus and be consistent with your numbers. And uh, excuse me, of course, what you want to do is have lots of different numbers and lots of different ways they can combine the numbers and then put the total inside. And and that's that was that was going to be my next thing. Um, that time I said put the numbers inside. So um, the way you differentiate this for children that are ready. Um, you can have it ready for them, or you can have the manipulatives. That's what teachers, that's teachers speak for little things that you manipulate with your hands and can use um, for sorting and classifying and math activities. Anyway, the little things, you can have it ready for them, or you can have them be the one to find the total and put it inside. And again, just like with the other activity, you can just have them play with it and um very young children will need that playtime first. Um, or you can have them just do it with their hands, manipulate it, or if they're ready, they can practice writing the number sentence on paper. So there's probably hundreds of other ways to utilize 
Easter eggs. But, um, and if you and if you have some, please share them. Um, go out and get your 50% off Easter eggs. Have this ready for your kids, and they will have an additional Easter surprise that they weren't even expecting. And they'll love it because they may be doing it at school, and they'll think that you're pretty cool to have it at home. So, happy educating. Please visit my Facebook page, Tailored Education. It's T-A-Y-L-E-R apostrophe D. Oh, we don't put the apostrophe. Just remember it's Taylor with an E-R. I also have a website, and you can go to the Facebook page, and it's it, there's a connection there. So, I hope you had a wonderful Easter, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you. Happy educating.